uh, and stuff on to YouTube. Oh, kitty, and um, we're going to Lidl's, and we'll come back in a good mood. Oh, that's Buddha over now. Oh, that's Bonzi. Um, yeah, we'll come back in a good mood. Yeah, what I was saying about the chakra, okay, I'll try and show you that. I didn't manage last time. Right, if I put the camera down there, right, there, there right, just under the sofa, because, right, and um, people who suffer a lot from anxiety, like, oh, okay, chaos going on in there. That's what you're observing in Bill. When it's as bad as it is with Bill, it's medical, it has to take medicine for it, right? Um, uh, Valium here can't really help, that they, you know, uh, a little bit, you can really take a little bit under control, Valium here, and there are, there has to be psychiatric medicine when anxiety is as bad. It's what's termed, in psychiatric terms, as acute anxiety, yeah. The only thing that could calm them down is good, yeah? He's much, much happier when he's calm. It's, uh, really much happier. It's how you make Bill happy, you calm him down. My mum's very good at it. Uh, as soon as he's calm, he's at his happiest. Uh, it's very hard to do. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, my mum being, you know, particularly good at calming people down, uh, some, you know, often when I have a chat with her in the morning, so I quickly hand her to Bill, and she, he gets his worries off his chest, you know owed to the building society, that kind of thing. And she listened very patiently and, and she's very good at calming people down. My mum. Kenny's once again a calming influence. So anything that can calm him down. It's very hard to do. Acute anxiety, you know, they go off into this like mega mega drive, you know. And uh and, and actually they don't like it. They're, they're quite unhappy when when not very but they you know, they're much, much happier. It's like the calmer, the happier. Yeah. Um and that's how you have to do it for them. <coughs> yep, uh, they'll go after Liddles. Now, Liddles is really quiet. It's really quiet, and, and, and he likes to pot around getting. The, he's, he's, he shops very well, gets very good quality ingredients for me to do cooking. And uh, he'll be badly, very proud. He's shop around, he's got nice ingredients, and he'll be in a good mood. And he's gone with Kenny. And Kenny, um, well, Kenny's just, as I said, calming up for us once again. Um, Oh, it's very tidy, isn't it? Very tidy. And, uh, Bill tied up a lot last night. It must have worked so hard, poor sod. Um, I, I, I got up, it's still at 2 o'clock in the morning. Mind you, he does get up to awful naughty things. Um, <coughs> <coughs> Darren at the building society is great mate at Bill's. And Darren's covered in tattoos, and though he's very much a respectable bank manager these days, he always finds it hilarious what Bill gets up to, because Bill's a naughty boy. And uh, I told him about this one. Uh, uh, well, I didn't tell him all the details, because at the bank, you've you got to be a bit polite to the bank manager. Well, he, he, he has this thing, he will show them Winnie, but, you know, they've got to get Willie up. Well, he had these Brazilian girls on, and, I mean, this goes on when I go to sleep, right? He had these Brazilian girls on, right? And he'd got he he'd got himself nude and and and, and sitting on a chair, and uh, and the Brazilian girls complained that Willie was down, and he yelled at them. He said, "Well, do something to make Willie go up." And uh, I remember hearing this racket, and I came in, and he covered his modesty and tried to look like one doing anything naughty, and I and I sort of looked at the screen, oh well, we'll get him, get on with it, you know. And uh, went back to bed, and I came back. I said this in so many words to Darren, a bit more politely. Came back, what was it, 10 minutes later to come get myself a cup of coffee or something. And he was waving his credit card at them. Now, I mean, Darren thought this hilarious. And I said, such negotiations go on <laughs> when I'm asleep at night. And then he denies it all in the morning. <laughs> oh, Bill, he's an awful womanizer. He can't help himself. He, uh... <coughs> When he, he was young in the he was young in the sixties and he twenties in the sixties, and he's he's lost he lost count in the sixties he lost count how many how many women, and I said Bill no wonder you was in such a state, I mean Kenny avoids them like the plague he said Kenny said Kenny said they get all complicated women you know in so many words, and 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 you and you wonder why Bill's in a state you know. Obviously, complicating it complicates his life a lot. <sighs> That's actually over there. It's got. Uh, well, you see that that thing over there? It's going to be the pirate's hat. 
Bill's really, really good at sewing. He will make a parrot's hat sometimes for the bathroom. And it's going to be like the Napoleonic parrot's hat. Um, and uh, you've seen him at really at his worst. It's because of this fraudster. He's taking all our money. And he's got to, he's got to sort something out. So, And the loo is leaking. <coughs> it's quite a bad time for him when... You know, this is a problem. My dad has the same problem. Sometimes it gets bad for them, you know. And people have a lot of responsibility and they've got whole things together and a lot of people depend on them. And then, then um, when it gets... It can get bad for them. And you're not seeing Bill at his best, really. Often he's much more relaxed and enjoying himself and having fun and joining in on what's going on. But at the moment, he's just, like, in mega drive because we've got a fraud store on our account and he's taking all the money. And the loo is leaking. And as I said, they start, they charge you now to uh, come and do repairs. Um, I bought them that. I swear. Well, I bought. I had a voucher. I had a voucher. I bought it with a voucher. And uh, I bought him that. He had orchids. He, ke- he keeps orchids on the window. So that, well, that one's died. Out. They're so hard to keep orchids. But it, see that one there? He's so good at keeping flowers. He's you. You need to be really good at keeping flowers to make orchids flower again. Look, they're about to. One there's about to. Ah, beautiful. What's more beautiful than orchid or rose? The orchid's more beautiful, but the rose is more scented. It's the answer to that one. Um, uh, right, so what are we doing? Loading a video here. Oh, Darren. Darren's looking at the video. Yeah, he said, uh, oh, he said, you know, it's doing well for you. Doing well, that little blackbird I gave you. Because Darren sold me this blackbird. He's got an iPad at the moment, and he's a bit pissed off with it. The iPhone's good, though. The iPhone's very good. But the Blackberry's a neat little phone. Alright, almost there. Uploading, starting processing. What was I telling you about that nice day we had? Going out to the... Yeah, but we decided not to have it. But actually, I looked at it and I thought, mm, we'll probably do better for the price, actually. <coughs> <coughs> it wants a PC, but once again, you don't want things like that. You're going to buy the first thing you see, you know? You're spending a lot of money. <coughs> <coughs> it's got to be the right PC, it's got to be the right price, you know? You're buying something big like that, you want to shop around. You don't want to buy the first thing you see. It's a lot of money. <coughs> yeah. I don't want to talk about that cancer. Of course, you notice I smoke and cough a lot. <laughs> well, uh, I'll tell you something. Some elements of conditions, most of all at the moment, which is something to do with your body rather than a disease, you know? then uh, I would say, uh, look, I know it sounds a bit strange, but uh, it's got a bit to do with your cold, okay? It's not all as it seems here. Take, for example, people believe that breast cancer is uh, runs in the family. Uh, well, I have reasons to believe it doesn't. Uh, take, for example, one in two people in Britain are dying of cancer, okay? A lot of that's got to do with suggestion. Uh, the body cells respond a lot to suggestion because it connects with the brain, of course. If the brain keeps telling you there's a high chance of cancer, keeps telling the body that, the body might develop it, so that's how suggestion works with cancer. One of the things that, well, one of the reasons I smoke is I defy it, of course. Well, I defy cancer. And by defying cancer, there's a strong possibility I help others do it too. Uh, as for the occult, sometimes when I see those eyes peering at me at night, the occult devil, you know, there's a boss here. Uh, well, he's a bit pissed off with me, you know. I shouldn't really take him on. But I, when it comes to the cancer thing, I think he's gone overboard and I slightly clashed horns with him.
no matter. Okay. 